Hi, this is Michael with Iconosys, and uh, today we're just going to do a quick real-time workflow video of shooting packaged product inside our 15-inch LED photography studio um, with our Shutterstream product photography software. Um, first uh, thing I do is enable my live view. That's going to stream a real-time preview of what my camera sees on my monitor screen. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in my camera up close. Uh, I think you're going to notice on the screen here, uh, first and foremost, is that our object is out of focus. I'm going to toggle from autofocus to manual focus, and that will allow me to adjust my camera settings. And the other thing that we could do if we wanted to, just to communicate, is we can start to adjust focal point through mouse clicks. You're going to see I'm going to make it blurry, and I'll bring it back into focus. So you also do have full control over manual focus adjustment. Um, again, our camera's connected via USB to our computer. I'm working with a Canon Rebel T5 camera. And um, we're also gonna have full control over adjusting our camera settings. So I will adjust my aperture and shutter speed to compensate for my exposure. And essentially once it looks good here, I'm not so much worried about the background, I want to match color accuracy of the product. That is absolutely critical in, uh, in product photography. And oftentimes we see people overexposing uh, product images to get the white background, whereas with our solutions you don't need to do that because we've got automated background removal, which I'll communicate in a couple seconds. Um, okay, so we've exposed it correctly, we've just adjusted our focal point. Now my next step is to crop. I'm actually holding shift as I crop, that allows me to crop in a perfect square um, for the instance that, okay, I need to, all my images as a perfect square, so let's actually go ahead and just shoot it as a perfect square. Then we simply hit the snap button, it's going to capture the image and upload it to our computer and we can see image one looks great. Next thing I'm going to do is, and actually let me just communicate, we have an image overlay feature. Um, I just enabled that. And you're going to see that leaves me with a nice image overlay of what was in the actual uh, kind of live view window. And essentially what I just want to do here is just position my object so it's actually positioned more or less in the exact same spot. So it can look pretty professional when I go ahead and put it on my website. I'll get rid of that overlay for now and I'm just going to take the backside image of this packaged product. So we have image one and two here. Uh, very high quality results captured in just seconds. We can see go and view one to one. Um, the kind of higher resolution, you can see a great quality image um, on a white background instantly. And I'll dive into that a little bit more in a couple seconds. I'm going to take one more picture. Um, a lot of people not only need these images that they shoot for, you know, web and e-commerce use, they also want them for, uh, you know, for catalog photography. And a lot of the time with catalog photography um, is uh, you need kind of the, the image cut out onto a transparent background. So. What I just did was I shot the background only image while not changing any variables and I imported that into our editing tool under the background removal section. Now essentially what that's gonna allow me to do is it's gonna compare our product image with our background image and understand where the product is versus where the background is and automatically, oh pardon me, I'm hitting the wrong button here, and automatically extract that background from the image to give us that perfect cutout onto a transparent background. So we'll enter into the background removal tool and we can see here that part that's blinking gray um, is the part that's going to be cut out. And we have full control over our threshold here. So too high, you're going to see it starts to eat into the product. Too low, obviously we're not cutting out any of the products. So we want to find a good middle ground. And we can go and inspect this. And we can see we're getting a very nice cutout. We're missing a little bit in the bottom here. So I'm just going to actually increase this just a tad more. And once it looks good to go, I'm simply going to hit my apply to all button. So in a batch process, what essentially we're going to be able to do is remove this white background and put it onto a transparent background. You can see the front image and the back image. Uh, then simply from here, what we can do is output these images. Um, our batch save tool is going to, let me just put uh, test image. It's going to name them sequentially. You can batch resize. So for instance, I need these JPEG images at 1200 pixels wide. With my JPEG, I've also chosen to, uh, to automatically make a white background um, or any other color that the, the user would require. And then we can go and take a look at these. And you can see each of these images, image one and image two, high quality results, captured, processed, edited, output in just seconds. Again, if you want to retain your images with the transparent background, we do have our dynamic save tool. And essentially what we could do is say, okay, output is a TIFF or a PNG. Those will retain the transparent background properties. You can also do your resizing and um, again, you can output accordingly. So in this case, let's actually output a TIFF image. I'm just going to call it sample1234. And we're going to output our high resolution TIFF images um, with our transparent background properties retained. I simply just hit my OK button and it's going to save to that exact same folder. 
um, and we can see here's our TIFF images, image one and image two. Um, so anyways, that's kind of how it works. Um, again, as you can see here, very high quality results, captured in just seconds, transparent and or white backgrounds instantly. Um, the company name is Iconesis, and I'll include additional information in the video description below. Thank you.